Today, I'll be showing you seven beautiful rain meter skins you have to try on Windows desktop. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Now, Windows has always been a customizable operating system. You can change the wallpaper to your liking or use any third party theme to change the mood. If that is not enough though, you can install Rain Meter and do away with all your needs for customization. You can apply new skins via the Rain Meter application and completely change the look of your Windows OS home screen. Make sure you stick around in this video because I'll be showing you seven beautiful Rain Meter skins you should try out for yourself. Okay guys, so we're here on the rainmeter.net site. Um, just navigate over to here in your browser. This is where um, you can grab Rainmeter, which is the desktop customization tool that we're going to be using to download all of these skins. And uh, we've got two different download options here. So I'm not usually a fan of betas, so let's go for the final release, uh, which was back in 2019. So just download, go ahead and download the file, run the exe file, and follow the installer. Cool, so we're installing the 64-bit version. All right, next we're going to finish and we're going to run Rain Meter. So you'll see you've got the uh, UI here. Um, you've got a little welcome message. Let's just get rid of everything. Go back to desktop. Okay, cool. So getting started with Rain Meter finding skins we're going to link all the skins uh, discussed in this video in the description box below so don't worry about that and obviously this isn't this is uh, my desktop with no skin at the moment but we can also see uh, if you go down the bottom here to the right you'll see you've got the rain meter uh, app there as well so uh, we can left click that and we can manage so now we have all of our seven skins installed in our rain meter box here. So with rain meter opened up, what we can actually do is start to look at FL HUD. So this will be our first one, FL HUD. And so to install that, all you would do is open up FL HUD here, open up the launcher, and then we're going to right click and load the launcher. Um, so this brings up this bar here. Whoops. So we've got our bar. We can bring it down here. Um, the player, you can load our player. So this is like our, our media player. And then we've got settings. We've got some extra settings here. And then we've got date and time as well. So we can load our date and time. Cool. So we got a really cool overlay here for date and time. Visualizer, visualizer, we can load the visualizer as well. Okay, cool. So that should be everything we need loaded. Uh, the other thing about um, FL HUD is uh, there's this really cool wallpaper that you can use with it so to find that there's actually a trick to finding your skins so to find the assets for our skins we can go down to open log uh, which will bring up our rain meter log uh, we're going to go across to skins plugins and version so you get some info here about your version of rain meter and we can find the path very easily um, to where our skins are saved here so for me it'll be in documents so documents rain meter skins yep let's do that okay then we have fl hud and so within fl hud we have yeah all of our uh, assets including the wallpaper so i'm just going to right click and set as desktop background awesome all right that is starting to look really good so let's do a quick rundown of fl hud after it's installed and set up 
So for those of you who want to keep things minimal, you can try out the FL HUD Rain Meter skin. Now, it is one of those themes that makes things easier for you if you spend a lot of time on your desktop or PC. Uh, it's a really nice, chic uh, look on, on this on this skin. So uh, there is a customizable bar widget down the bottom here, which we've seen. Uh, so I'm gonna put that up in the top corner up here. Um, now the good thing about this top bar widget is that you can add customizable hyperlinks and you can actually link all of your most used websites in the widget. And within like literally seconds, you are onto your favorite website. So, you know, we've got YouTube here, boom, we can go to YouTube. Um, I've got all of my websites up here. We also have, um, we've got CPU usage, We've got our RAM usage, so we've got live updates coming up here, um, and we've got both of my HDDs um, up here and storage capacity. Uh, we've also got our our time indicator here, and uh, we've also got a media player. So I might put that in the top corner, just keep it all nice there. Um, as well, if we play uh, another thing to show you is if we play any uh, audio with our MP3 player. with FL HUD, when you go to install the skin, there's actually an option to use Spotify as your visualizer. Uh, so I'm not currently using Spotify, but you are able to use Spotify for um, your media player as well. And so um, you, you can have that on your HUD as well. Also things to note, you can hide the taskbar in order to add more widgets. Overall, FL HUD is a brilliant Rainmaker skin to start with. So before we move on to our second skin, let's just bring up Rainmaker here again. One more thing to show you. Uh, in layouts, we can also save our, our layout as well um, for easy reference later. So we can go save as empty layout. Let's call this uh, FL HUD 1. And we can save that there and we can we can load that again for later. Now, if you're a fan of a material look, then Agio is probably the best material Rainmaker skin you should try. It treats you with a sleek music player on the home screen, along with date, time, and weather info, which is all widgets. And it's just really highly customizable. There's a running widget that feeds you with motivational quotes so that you jumpstart your day with a positive mindset. And that's, that's what we got down here. So we've got our date and time up to the right here. Um, and we've actually got, uh, actually I've got two quotes up on the screen. There you go, double the motivation. Um, so if we want to customize anything, we can just double click. And we've got all of our settings in here. So we can change our quotes and things like that as well. Change our players. And uh, it's just a really, actually quite a nice, sleek interface. We've got different settings to the left here. So we've got email, Twitter, internet, Facebook pictures, video, music. For example, if we went to pictures and music, it'll take us to our corresponding folders. And so really quite a customizable skin here. And here we have our audio playing on our little audio player here as well. So Agio, really nice, sleek material skin. On to the next. Next up we have the Gemini Suite Rainmaker skin. It's really for the gaming enthusiast who wishes to see every piece of information about their CPU, GPU, and RAM all on their home screen. We have uh, different storage widgets here as well my C drive and my D drive. Uh, we've got different games, uh, really cool different games here which can all be customized. Uh, we have as well the date and time on the right here along with different options for how you want your UI to look. So we can actually change uh, to a dark theme here 
Um, I've just currently got this hiding on my icons because I'm very unorganized. And uh, as well, or we can hide the UI as well. So let's bring it back because I think that looks the coolest. So if you're a gamer, make sure to check this one out. It is super customizable. Uh, we've got different icons here as well. We got Discord, uh, we got Steam as well. So really cool stuff. Yes. Now for the Iron Man fans out there, this one is just for you. Now the Iron Man Jarvis Rain Meter skin is meant to give you the feel of being inside the Iron Man suit itself, where you get your own Jarvis powered computer. Now. Yeah, it's a little tricky to kind of get everything set up and, and move it all around, but as you can see, the interface is pretty involved. Um, I've got everything set to just be completely draggable. So we've got things like our date here, our computer power, we've got a media player in use here, we've got our Windows key button, we have different settings here as well. We've got notes, we've got a reader, we've got visuals up the top as well. Uh, we can actually hit a power button to go um, bring up our Google Chrome, which is really cool. We've got Gmail, Wikipedia, all of our different links to websites here. And we've got all of the information displayed as well. Our different links to our images and videos, music, all of our different folders as well. So this is definitely one to check out. If you're into your superheroes, if you're into your gaming, definitely check it. Next up we have Senja Suite. Well, do you want to get your desktop basics right? Then Senja Suite skin is arguably the best Ren Maker skin for you to try. The skin is lightweight and doesn't eat up your resources too much. It takes care of all the basic elements you should have on your desktop home screen. But the good thing about Senja Suite is it's great at doing those basic jobs without cluttering the home screen with multiple options. It displays time, a user profile button with an expandable bar for system folder shortcuts and a slideshow of pictures as well over here. Additionally, there's a media information button that includes button controls and shut down, restart and log off down the bottom here as well. And as you can see, we've got our media player here. And if I go play this one. Cinder Suite is a really nice skin. Um, I really do like the look of this one. Um, it's quite minimalist. Um, this image is from the Cinder Suite library as well. A very nice choice from the Rainmaker skin selection. Next up, we have Big Sur. Are you a fan of Mac OS's Big Sur widgets? yet you're using a Windows computer. Big Sur is a skin that adds a bunch of widgets to your home screen, replicating the Big Sur OS. The widgets include a music player control, system settings, calendar, to-do list, clock, calendar, weather, volume, and brightness toggles, and more. And with the latest update, the devs have included better fonts, an experimental smart stack app with scrolling and an improved world clock as well. And for all the latest, information and articles you can get them right on your desktop so you don't need to search for the latest news when you start your day so for me i have my latest news here in the bottom i've got my clock set up as well uh, oh no coronavirus get rid of that uh, <laughs> so we've got our all of our menu up the top here lastly we have the moderate rainmaker skin it is the best Android-like skin that offers you a user interface similar to your Android device. It has a taskbar right at the bottom, which looks really nice and sleek. It also has a launcher along with quick settings toggles, music controls, and more. Everything you could want on your home screen. This skin will be more functional if you have a touchscreen laptop as well, because they do have some touchscreen features on here. So what we can do is we can right click and we can go into moderate uh, and then we can see which we have selected. So we have our time up the top. We have our music player showing. Let's get rid of our volume panel and let's bring up our settings. Cool. So in our settings bar, we can change all of our apps 
our games, our music, uh, all of our different libraries. We can add apps and we can change the color of the theme to any different color so we so wish. And we've also got weather information here as well. So the date, the time, and the weather information can all be displayed on the bottom bar. There is a system turn on and off button on the left here, uh, where you can shut down, reboot, and sleep. But overall, moderate is less clutter, and it is a skin that is a solid choice if you're looking for a material skin. Although there are several other rain meter skins available for you to choose from, these are our recommendations and skins that have been used by us personally. Now, if you're new to Rain Meter, don't forget to check out our Rain Meter Getting Started Guide and read all the good things offered by it on our website, maketecheasier.com. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.